I'm sick of paying all these expensive prices for iron. So today, I'm gonna do an experiment. Today, I'm gonna to be using straight ferrous sulfate to put on my lawn. I've heard mixed reviews whether you could put it on cool season grass or not. I'm gonna find out for myself. I know a lot of you folks down south have been using it on your lawn for years and haven't had any issues. On the lawn forum, they recommend four ounces per thousand square feet for warm season grasses. But us cool season folks, it ranges between two and three ounces per thousand square feet. So I'm going to go a little bit on the higher end of that and I'm going to put down 3 ounces. At the end of the video I'm going to share my results with you and see if this is a viable option for us northerners. The usual way of applying this mixture is through a combination of ingredients called ferrous ammonium sulfate. In layman's terms that's powdered iron and powdered nitrogen mixed together. The reason they put ammonium sulfate into the mixture is because the nitrogen actually helps it with its greening effects. I'm not going to be using ammonium sulfate today because I'm actually not really trying to green up my lawn, although that, that would be nice. I'm actually just trying to see if my grass can handle the ferrous sulfate mixture. All right, so today's Thursday. It's been two days since I made that application and I'm just posted out here under the tree chilling. But I'm looking at my lawn right now and I'm not gonna lie. There's no blackening whatsoever and dare I say it even looks greener than before. Keep in mind, I didn't apply any of the ammonium sulfate so I wasn't expecting too much greening immediately. I know that iron can take up to a week to start seeing the greening effects. But I'm looking over here and honestly, I don't see any blackening. I'm gonna say this project was a success. So for the rest of the season, I'm actually gonna stop using all iron products except this ferrous sulfate. Once the temperatures drop a little bit, I'm gonna start mixing some of the ammonium sulfate into there when I apply it. A five pound bag of this stuff costs about 20 bucks. So to me, this is a more fiscally conservative approach to applying iron to your lawn. You know, I'm not 100% of its effects yet, but I'm gonna be doing more experiments coming up here pretty soon, and I'll be reporting the long-term effects. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, I got a surprise for you. I started this channel about two months ago, and I never thought that I'd have 500 subscribers already. So I'm wholeheartedly thankful to all you guys who are subscribed, and even the ones who aren't subscribed that actually watch my video. I've been doing this lawn stuff now for a while, and I just finally got the courage, thankfully to my wife who motivated me to do so, to actually start making videos. If you would have asked me five years ago if I would have been doing this, I would have been like, nah. But you know, I guess we all gotta grow up sometime. I'm almost at the 500 subscriber count right now, and once I hit 500, I'm gonna be giving away something. YouTube so graciously sent me one of these Google Home Minis, and I know, I know, I know. Before you laugh at the price, believe it or not, this is an awesome tool to have for lawn care. Because this is something that can tell you how much it's going to rain, if it is going to rain, what the temperature is outside, and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I'm going to be giving this away to one of you guys as soon as I hit that 500 subscriber mark. And I'll be doing a video, and I'll actually announce the winner live using one of those raffle apps. All you have to do to win is be subscribed and comment on this video. I don't mind if it's thoughtful, if it's careless, if it's funny, if it's sad, it doesn't matter. Just comment on this video and you'll be entered to win. Thanks again for watching. This is George from Princess Cuts. Peace.